he was given this opening. It's a good one. He said, if a man has the power to wrestle with bulls and lions, he is that strong. But tries to see the Holy Prophet Sallallahu without permission, without permission to see him, uh, he would melt. He would melt, he would come apart. And his, uh, his, his, uh, his being would, would dissolve from the rule that he would see. Yeah. He wants to see the Holy Prophet without permission. See, he cannot. I mean, even as strong as he is. But if the Prophet also wants to, uh, uh, to make himself seem to a uh, baby, and the baby see the Prophet also and uh, play happy, and no one can tell him. No one can tell him. Because, you know, Mawlana Sheikh, like I told you before, maybe I mentioned it last time, but Mawlana Sheikh said that, the Grand Sheikh, Mawlana Sheikh al said that all babies are born with cash. And it stays with them seven, eight days. But Mawlana Grand Sheikh it al it, it stayed with him from birth. All his life. It never went away. Some chosen our galaxies the case. So this is why he has such power even from a young age. From a young age and you know, as we have heard from Maulana Sheikh, Maulana Sheikh Mishnah told us that and Maulana Sheikh, that Maulana Sheikh Nazim said that his first, uh, his first, no maybe he, he, he took this directly from uh, Maulana Sheikh and and he was reporting that his first power was when he was 15 years old, right after getting married to his cousin, the daughter of Sheikh Sharafati, because Sheikh Sharafati was his uncle. So, and he put him in a khalwa of five years. And he couldn't do that. And only the Sheikh can order it. So if the Sheikh is ordering it, and if the Sheikh knows better than the Murid himself, how, how much the Murid can carry. And the Murid already has his Karam. And he has many, many Karams. So, and then, during that Karma five years, whatever took place, took place of, of miracles, and states, and knowledge, and, and levels. And then after that, uh, his church, which have told him no more karamats. From now on, your karamat must be ma'al, that means spiritual. It must not be visible to everyone. It must be visible only in the eyes of Allah. That people realize that, like Mawlana Sheikh Nazim, it is seen with the eyes of the heart. The eyes of the heart, if the heart is asking for, for him, then you know he will be walking down Fifth Avenue in New York with a group of people, and some person will cross the street, just a action like that, cross the street and uh, and ask him and ask someone who is this person. And then, you know, meet the Sheikh, they will bring her, an old lady and her friend, two old ladies like that, and uh, shake hands and look and say, oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I mean, one time, even I went into a supermarket in New York and uh, Long Island, and the same thing happened to me, an old, uh, older woman like that, uh, and they were all, I think, uh, Jewish. Come on, she, she walks out and she says, this is beautiful, I've never seen, uh, you know, such a turban. I was uh, coming from the Zippo. You know, I just got out of the car to get something. Like that. But the difference is that, in the case of Mangana, 
O save to me for one week later, mercy to me. Allah, 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 Allah. And then, just that. So, anyone in their right mind who knows the situation uh, will we realize that this is not normal. So this is the kind of karma, spiritual karma, it requires just a little bit of a, a working out to realize that this is, this is not uh, something an ordinary, ordinary thing. Because these people, like Maulana, Maulana Shemnaz have said, to people who have say, you know, how come uh, these people, you know, what do they see uh, in you? Or something, you know, like that, aggressive question. And he said, you have to ask them, because they all have education. They all have degrees, they're doctors, they're engineers, and architects, and lawyers. I'm not doing anything. They just hear about me, they come, they sit, and they don't read. And they come back, and back, and back. And in the end, they, they take time from Or from the beginning, even, they take time. I saw this happen with the mother of the Moritos, American Moritos. Marana Shahisha was busy at the conference, International, International Unity Conference, Islamic Unity Conference. He was getting into an elevator with a group of people, and the mother of this Murid, she comes and she asks a question, and she knocked the doors. And she didn't necessarily mean it or realize it. She had to give her bear right there and then and say, Ashadu wa la ilaha illallah wa ashadu wa muhammad wa rasulullah. She entered tariqa at the same time as entering Islam. Wa man kuala la ilaha illallah dakhla al-jannah. Entering paradise. So, if you, if you see this with the eyes of your head, even a normal, yani, a third person who is unrelated, see someone all of a sudden, we explain to them that this person has now taken initiation in this Sufi path under this Sufi master and has now become a Muslim. And in our belief, that person enters paradise when they say this, all these things. You realize that. I grew up in a Muslim city, I did not know what Shahada was. I would, would hear Azan every day of my life in my childhood. Beirut. Because we had I mean, one mosque, one mosque, one mosque, I mean, around our mosque, very near. It was, it was a very mixed neighborhood. You didn't have to realize, never, no one explained. But now looking back, see, looking back, I realized that, 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 that I mean, to come, to be attracted like that, it's not, not something that we can control or something that we can analyze. You just have to see this is. This is just from beyond this world. This is something we just have to surrender. So we surrender, we are, we are grateful. Oh, those are young, they are young. Uh, It's like the karma for them is like uh, it's like <coughs> as, as easy as that. See? And they don't rely on it, but they want they want us to step one step forward and then they step ten, ten steps forward, right now. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us with them. They are the ones bringing us to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our love for Rasulullah becomes, becomes more palpable and more uh, present in our lives because of frequenting them, because they are always with him. So you are with them, they are with him, you, you become Someone who is with us with lots of us. Then you become someone who is with us with lots of us. It is a simple, a simple proposition. I mean, nothing complicated about it. We are the biggest obstacle between that realization uh, and ourselves. We are the problem. Not, not difficulty of practice or understanding. Not for people interfering, you know, or people who are against us, it's not that. So, 
do what you can, more or less saying. And in a few days you will see the result continue and you will see greater, greater stations and greater results. And in the end the objective is to put the nafs under your foot, not to let the nafs ride you on top of your shoulder and like you know, uh, go this way, go that way. The nafs ego. Put the nafs under your foot, and he said, if we do not do that willingly, it will be done by force in the, uh, at the time of death. At the time of death. So that's the meaning of die before you die. Die to your nafs and let your nafs be ex extinct and more or less then at that time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens everything for the servant. Uh, we, we ask through our shuyur, the Mawana Shaykhna, the Mawana Shaykhna, and their shuyur, and their shuyur, all the way to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These are our wasila, the greatest wasila, to reach you, you are being safe and sound from the fitna of this dunya and to be able to thank you already here in dunya in the way that you love and the way that you accept. We're as, as much as you can, as, as much as you will give us, Ya Rabbi, of Tawfiq, then give us, give us Tawfiq and give us more. Make us thankful so that you will give us more. Because you promised, if you give thanks, I will give you more. Until he gives without his help, without his help. This is, the, this is the characteristic. Without his help, Allah loves to give without his help. So we are asking without his help. It's, it's halal. It's allowed. Rabbi, we ask you to give us everything of your forgiveness and your good pleasure before giving. Amin, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Amin. And put your, your good, good pleasure in our lives, inspiring us always to do the right thing. To leave the office. Maulana Shem is do, doing nothing but that. He's inspiring us to do the right thing and leave the office. We love you, Maulana. We love you, Maulana. We thank you. We thank you, we are saying. And all of us should have.